everybody, welcome to my channel. I am Tracy Reed and this is Acrylic Pouring with Friends. I do hope you guys are all having a great day. It is beautiful here in Florida and I hope the weather is beautiful wherever you are. Alright, so in today's video I am going to be doing a kiss pour. I've got two different cups. I've got a six ounce split cup and a six ounce triple split cup. Um, and I'm going to um, just do a straight, a regular kiss pour, no traveling involved. Um, one day, I mean, I've done them before, but um, I prefer to just, I'm kind of a, not very steady, so I prefer to just hold it here. Even then, um, it seems like it takes forever. So, let's just go ahead and jump in and get started with the colors. The first color I've got is, well, let me show you the bottle. <laughs> it is a teal from the Fine Touch. I've got a white pearl from Folk Art. And from Liquitex Basics, I've got Quinacridone Magenta that will be in the triple split cup. And then my regular split is going to be uh, Deco Art 24 karat gold. Of course, I had to have some metallic paints in here. I always use metallic or pearl colors, at least one or two. Uh, and then the next color I've got is Thalo Blue by Amsterdam. Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and start filling uh, the cups, get my gloves on really quick. The canvas size that I'm using today is a 14, uh, 14 by 18. I had to think a second. So 14 by 18. Um, all right, and then I'm just going to go ahead and start filling the cups. Now I'm hoping that the gold is not going to take over because, you know, it tends to do that. Um, but I wanted to use gold anyway, so there's that. <laughs> All right, and I kind of put them in a certain order so that they may blend to create, well they're going to blend, um, but specific, you know, colors that they're going to create. So like the blue and the magenta, I'm hoping will get a nice purple. Um, and I was going to actually use instead of the um, gold, I was really going to use yellow, but yellow and I kind of have a love-hate, so I went with the gold. Um, couple different reasons. It can still, you know, it could blend and still create, you know, other other colors. Obviously, if like it's a yellowy, it may blend with the blue and create a, a, a green. Um, and then um, if it blends with the other colors, it, it, won't, it won't mud, whereas yellow would tend to potentially mud with the other colors. So that's kind of why my thinking behind that. Um, so hopefully, fingers crossed. And then um, all of the paints, uh, except the folk art, they're all mixed one part paint to two parts pouring medium. Uh, the folk art white pearl is about one and a half. So one part paint to about one and a half parts pouring medium. Um, and then uh, my pouring medium is Liquitex pouring medium. Flow trial water and some golden GAC 800. All right, guys, so I guess we are, and I put these opposite in the cup. Oh, I wanted it the other way. As you can see, I was talking and not paying attention, so we're just gonna go with it. <laughs> I mean, what do you do? They're already in the cup, so we're just gonna go with it. Now, for those of you who have that have not done a kiss pour, what you do is you wanna touch and have the paints kind of come out at the same time, so right there where they kiss. All right, oops. And it can be a little difficult, especially if you're like me and you're a little shaky or unsteady. Um, but what I do with these cups is because the nozzles, the not the nozzle, the um, spout is a little more pointy, I rest the spout on, on the other spout, if that makes sense. I rest them on each other. And that way they don't kind of slip off and it constantly is touching and try not to get too high 
because it will create um, some more air bubbles. And for those of you, I've really gotten recently, it seems, a lot of people asking about the, the little pinhole looking dots that they're getting on their paintings. And what that is, is if you guys have watched my videos throughout the years, those are air bubbles caused from shaking your paints. And if you, like I said, if you've watched me before, you know I hate those. <laughs> They're not my favorite. Um, so what you do is it, if you're going to have to shake up your paints, let them set for about an hour. Um, or you can also roll, if it's in a bottle, you can roll them. And um, that will still mix up your paints, but you won't have the air bubbles. They drive me crazy. Just saying. So, anyway, <laughs> that is that. If you're having that issue, don't use your paints right after you shake them. It's, it's kind of an easy fix. I know sometimes we get excited and we want to paint, but if you don't want those, and sometimes the air bubbles, I have to admit, there's a, a couple occasions where I didn't mind them. Um, and to each his own, right? Some people like them, some people don't. So it's your preference, but if you don't like them, don't shake your bottles right away, or don't use your paints right after you shake them. So, all right, well, this is taking quite a while. As you can see, there's a lot of paint. There's about, there's 12 ounces roughly of paint here for this canvas. It might just be a little much. Um, I do have my size chart I didn't really look at, so probably should have taken a glance at it. <laughs> Whoopsie, and see, there we go. There's my unsteadiness. I'm going to kind of like go in a little bit of circle the last little bit. Maybe create a something cool there in the middle. I don't know, I may have just messed it up, but we'll see.
Alright everybody, here we go with the dried photos and I really really do like this painting. There's a lot going on. I wasn't sure because I mixed up the colors, the order, um, so I wasn't sure but I still got some purple so I'm happy about that. I love those cells up there at the top um, and I got some nice defined lines. And of course I do really love that 24 karat gold. Look at how pretty that looks in the middle there. Those colors are just really, really gorgeous. So I would love to hear what you guys think. Um, don't forget to leave me a comment below. And don't forget if you haven't subscribed to subscribe to my channel. And make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you got anything out of it. And also to share this video. Uh, it really does help out my channel. So if there's someone you think may enjoy it, you can go ahead and share it with them. I really, really appreciate it. Alright guys, if you're interested in any acrylic pouring tools, don't forget to check out acrylicpouringtools.com. And I really hope you enjoyed my video today. I have a bunch more videos that I know you will enjoy as well. And I will catch you in the next one.